Welcome, Web of Wires. It's that spooky time of year again where taking candy from complete strangers is encouraged by the town. And to celebrate, I figured I'd take a look at the good old classic Castlevania for NES. Please note that this isn't the NES version, rather the 3DS Virtual Console. Let's go over some basic gameplay. This game is a Metroidvania, obviously. You go around each open world level and you unlock stuff such as items or abilities that help you along your way. There are also secrets hidden around each level. It quite literally is the definition of a Metroidvania. The genre Metroidvania was actually named after Castlevania Symphony of the Night and Metroid, which it does make sense in a way. The main goal is to defeat Dracula as you explore the castle and defeat enemies. The game itself is really satisfying for an NES game, but controls are not too great, which was expected. The controls were the main issue I always had with this game. It was super difficult to move around just because of basic things like moving forward after you jumped or running was completely absent. It makes sense because the game was both designed around this movement scheme and it's very difficult, but it was a problem with basic things like dodging an enemy or moving forward too late after you jumped. Walking upstairs is also a bit weird, but it worked at least. You can't jump on stairs, which really sucked and there was a delay when you could use your whip after walking. Don't expect the world from this game in terms of exploration because it's difficult to do. Speaking of this game being difficult, oh god it can get brutal. Castlevania was developed in a time where arcade machines were still popular. Developers would make games that were hard to master and fun to play so that people would feed and feed and feed these machines with quarters for maximum profit. But what they didn't know is that games are also fun to beat when you don't need to feed your home console quarters. This translates to a brutally difficult game where stuff is just thrown at you with no preparation. I wouldn't say it's like Mega Man with how difficult and unfair that is, but they make progression easy. But save points are also very important in this game. Once you die, you restart from the beginning of the stage. When you run out of lives, back to the first stage of the world you go. This can be very frustrating so I recommend picking up the 3DS version or using an emulator when you play. I also recommend you watch tutorials on how to beat some of these bosses because you will repeatedly die until you know what to do. Castlevania did not age that well. You're better off playing something like Hollow Knight or Dead Cells because both those games have more to offer than this title. It reminds me most of Hollow Knight with how the combat is, but even then it's more difficult to fight off a basic enemy sometimes than an early boss in Hollow Knight. Long story short, I don't think the game aged well but it still holds the same experience from when it came out in 1986. Castlevania is not a treat. It's not a fun game. It's a challenge, and not a fair one at that. But the reward this game gives you for overcoming your challenges is more than satisfying. <laughs> Even though you have the handicap of weak weapons and weird controls and lower health than your enemies, it's never been more satisfying to hit a final blow on each boss. And if you want to see where Metroidvania started from or you like challenging games, I recommend you give Castlevania a fair shot.